Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So if you watched last week's video you would have seen that I found some amazing crushed ammonites in pretty horrific weather but we are now at the point of prepping them and I'm gonna start with the biggest and if you guys have been following my channel for a while you would have known that last time I prepped a big crushed ammonite it went awfully. Now I will link it down below, I'll link the hunting video and the other prep video but that is just a part of prepping fossils. Not every single one that you touch is going to turn out perfect and um, they are millions and millions and millions of years old so you know they have gone through it and some are preserved better than others and some have been weathered differently and the waves have eroded them so yeah. I'm, not, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much because this one I'm very, very excited about. But it's a beautiful, like, part of it is already revealed. So I'm trying to keep all the pieces in the towel just so if I need to do a jigsaw um, attempt, I've got enough pieces to kind of do so. So let's open it up. So I'll bring you guys closer in a minute. Now I'm going to be doing all of this prep just using a scalpel. So I'm going to use a scalpel and then some paraloid. And that is it. So... Let's have a go. This is what we, we're, so this is what we're dealing with. So as you can see, it's a pretty big size and you can see the outer well here is exposed and then nothing else here. So I did buy a brand new scalpel for this occasion. So I got one from Westcott and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. It's like got a full blown rubberized handle and it's almost like using a pen. So I have really good precision. Um, so it's got like little grippy things there. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just thought I'd share in case any of you are looking for just kind of a nicer scalpel than the all metal one and because I'm going to be working on these for hours and hours I thought this is definitely a good investment and by investment I say six pounds it was hardly a bank breaker but um, I'll try and link it down below on Amazon if I can find it I just thought I would share quickly so all I'm going to be using for this prep is a scalpel this is a little pot to put if any of the shell flake off I'm going to try and put them in this pot so that I can stick them on later because otherwise there's going to be so much like rock coming off this I'm gonna lose them. So I'm gonna try and isolate them in this little part. And then a brush to just kind of, as you can see, there's a lot of sand on it. So now that it's dried ev like a little bit, I'm gonna just try and like de-sand it. But I didn't wanna use a toothbrush because in my head that was too rough for it. But it probably was, maybe I will go get a toothbrush. I feel like some of this sand needs to be like toothbrushed off. But this one's also working quite well. So let's get started. I do a little update um, so obviously we can now see the whole ammonite outline I've managed to get the layers down to kind of the same level and I have been using a different scalpel to the one I showed you initially so this is a flat one now this is just the only reason I'm using this one over my new one is because this one's a bit more blunt so I'm using this for the bulk um, kind of removal and then for the finer details I'm going to use the sharper one um, so just in case you were wondering. So I'm just gonna keep going. I still think I've got a little bit to go. And um, so we can see it being exposed in certain places. It is a little bit crumbly, so I'm a little bit worried now, but I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna get it as thin as I can to just the shell and then very carefully remove it using the sharpest scalpel I have to just kind of flick off the layers of matrix. So let's keep going.
it's now the next day um, because I was working on this piece until the light ran out and I just still haven't finished. It's getting there very nicely um, but we're now going to continue so as you can see there's a lot more shell revealed. I'm just going to try and get as much of that surrounding matrix off and then we're going to paraloid it. So let's continue. <laughs>
got up to so the outer worlds are cleaning up really really lovely and the shell underneath is pretty well preserved the only thing i am worried about is how to prep the center i think i'm going to try and do it with a needle um but if any of you have any advice because it just seems quite cemented to the shell um same with some of these patches over here but overall it's coming together beautifully and it already looks amazing considering this was all kind of submerged apart from this bit um so i'm going to leave it here for fossil friday but i just thought i'd give you a nice close-up because i think it is coming like it is prepping beautifully it's just extremely time consuming this is uh day two of just non-stop prep so that's all i got for you guys today i know i didn't finish the fossil in today's episode of fossil friday but there's only so many days in one week you can spend on a fossil especially when you're working as well and i totally underestimated this piece but it's it is turning out beautifully but um yeah they take forever those fine little details um they really do but i'm so happy with how it's looking um i know i showed you the up close but i'll show you it's just, i just love how it's kind of in its own little slab like how cool is that <laughs> i am just yeah i am very chuffed with how this is turning out i just need to spend a few more days get all the little little bits of matrix off and then i'll paraloid it but if you have any advice for that center bit let me know because i just don't know how i'm going to um get the matrix off it without damaging all the ribs it's just so like i can't distinguish between the shell and matrix but anyway that's a problem for next week i hope you're all doing well i'll also link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there um but yeah like and subscribe for more and hopefully i'll see you next week thanks for watching